So today we're going to talk about strep throat and some alternative things that you can do. A couple things you need to know about strep throat. Most of the time, it's going to be viral related, which means the antibiotics are not going to work. Only 20% of the time, it's bacterial. Now, the confusing thing about strep throat is that people assume that it's bacterial in nature when most of the time it's viral from an adenovirus or even Epstein-Barr virus. So what I'm going to show you is what to do if you have a sore throat, whether it's coming from a bacteria or a virus. What's interesting about this infection is that it occurs way more often from December to April. So the most likely possibility is that it's a vitamin D deficiency because there's less sun. And a vitamin D deficiency makes you susceptible to both bacterial infections and especially viral infections. So there's a couple things I would recommend. During these months, especially if you get these repeated infections year after year or your kids get it, have them or yourself start taking vitamin D on a regular basis during these months right here. The other thing to do, especially if it's a virus, which is the majority of the time, is vitamin C in higher amounts. Make sure the vitamin C you're taking is non-GMO because a lot of times they make it from corn, okay? And corn is GMO. So you want non GMO, take large amounts, that really helps to put this virus back on remission. It can also help the immune system to combat a bacterial infection as well. The big problem that people are running into with the antibiotics is that you start developing antibiotic resistance and all of a sudden you get to a point where it doesn't work anymore. So people are looking for an alternative solution. Another remedy would be apple cider vinegar. Why does that work? Because when you acidify the body, of course you're gonna dilute it with water, okay? One tablespoon in a glass of water. So when you consume this, it actually stimulates the immune cells called the phagocytes to work harder to combat this infection, okay? So this is one thing you can do. The other big thing is fasting, okay? When you fast for a period of at least 18 hours, um, you go through autophagy. Autophagy is a kind of a self-cleaning oven effect. It actually helps clean up old damaged proteins, but it also can help clear out viruses and bacteria and fungus and mold from the body. So this is a very, very potent thing. And the last but most powerful thing I'm going to recommend is an acupressure technique to help decrease the intensity of the pain in your throat. Okay, so what you do is you can either get a device to do this uh, technique or get someone else to do this on you. What you're going to be doing is simply isolate the location of where it hurts, okay, in your neck, and you draw a circle in the back part of your neck, and you're gonna be applying pressure to the opposing opposite side of where your intense soreness is located, okay? So there's two ways you can do this. You can get someone to apply pressure by pressing their thumb and their middle finger to the back part of your neck, equal pressure, opposing the pain for about one to two minutes, okay? In the demonstration I'm showing you right now, and if you do this, the way that you know you have the exact right spot is you're gonna find that it's gonna be very sore. In other words, if someone's pressing in the back of your neck and it's not extremely sore, then they have the wrong points. So have them make the adjustments so they can find the epicenter of this soreness, which actually is the mirror image of where you feel the sore throat and have them hold that pressure for two to three minutes. The other way you can do this is to get a massage device like the one I have right here and this way you can lean back in a tall back chair or a couch and apply this tool to the back of your neck to simulate someone's hand pressure. In fact, this is one of the reasons why I created this tool is to be able to do these techniques on myself and not to be dependent on someone else doing them. So in summary, most of the time it's gonna be viral in nature, sometimes bacteria. The vitamin C will actually stimulate the immune system, make sure it's non-GMO. Vitamin D is a great preventative and something that can bolster your immune system. Apple cider vinegar can actually speed up those little immune cells called phagocytes that can help fight this thing off faster. Start doing fasting on an immediate basis. This is probably the reason why people lose their appetite, but I put a link down below of how to do this correctly. And the acupressure technique, I put some more videos down below to kind of get more information on how to do it. That can really take away the pain. All right, guys, go ahead and try this and put your comments down below. So if you want to get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.